Welcome to the shop. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the spectrum telemetry, primarily the voltage telemetry. One of the great things about all of this, right, is to have the battery voltage telemetry, and yeah, you could have it on your screen right there. It doesn't really help me a lot while I'm flying because I'm not gonna be looking down at my screen here. But what does help is when I press this button, Pretty cool. Already done a video on how to set that up. Already done two videos on how to connect your, basically your battery balance lead to one of these types of receivers that has that little plug there. That said, those videos I did a little while ago, there were two of them, gotta be careful. One of them kind of goes as public service announcement saying that if you do it wrong, you're gonna fry your receiver. So be careful there. I don't do that way anymore. Um, I do more of a permanent way and I actually attach the wire to my ESE. Let me back up a little bit because here's the deal that I wanna talk about is one is if you have a receiver like this, an AR631, great receiver, has all the cool features, even has telemetry in it. But in order to get the battery telemetry, you gotta have a avian, ESE, a Spectrum ESE. That's the only way it's gonna work. So when you go and buy your FMS or free wing, flight line, DuraFly, Arrow, whatever plane it is, and you're gonna put one of these in, if you need that battery telemetry, especially EDFs, it's really nice to have, nice feature. You're gonna to have to swap out the ESE for an Avian. That's, that's just the way it is. Your other option is if you want that on a non-E-flight you know, type of plane, is get one of these receivers. A little, little more expensive, has some telemetry, and has that little plug there. And as, as I've talked about, you're gonna get a little bundle of wires here with a little plug. This needs to be attached to your ESC leads. And there are three ways to do it that I have done, all three, very safe, haven't had any issues with anything blowing up, and it works pretty well. So I'm gonna show that next in this video. So hope you stick around for that. If you have any questions after you watch the video, shoot me a comment, like, subscribe, all the cool stuff. It makes me feel good about doing these videos. Stick around. Okay, option number one, and I'm prefacing everything with, you kind of need to know what you're trying to do here. Um, if you fry anything, catch something on fire, I'm just have, showing examples of how to do this. I am not responsible. So. Option number one, and that is poking a hole. I already did on this one, but you're gonna poke a hole through that red lead. Here's, here's the thing also, is that that lead comes with both black and a red wire. I take the black wire off. You don't need it uh, unless you were powering your receiver from a, a different power supply. Uh, if you're powering it from the BEC, that's you know the, from your ESC here, then you don't you don't need that black wire. You don't need the ground. Anyway, you're gonna poke a hole right like that. And then this right here has been soldered, so it's it's stiff. It's a hard wire. You're gonna poke that in there. Get that in there, it's through. See? And then you're gonna fold that down and you're gonna wrap electrical tape around that whole thing at least the big section of it. And then there you go. Plug this end into your receiver and now you'll be able to get that telemetry. Simple as that. All right, option number two, which is basically what I'm going to show here is if you haven't attached this yet, then you go through that process of, go through the process of putting on your shrink wrap, running this under your, sh your uh, shrink, not the right term, but you get what I mean. And you're going to solder this into there. And then once that's all soldered in and you like the way it looks, obviously come down with your your tubing and heat that up. And now you have a nice clean connection and that goes to your receiver. 
I extend these lines usually pretty far, depending where my ESC is and how my batteries are set up. The other way is if this was already attached. You bought one, it already is attached, you don't wanna mess around uh, with undoing this. Then I would suggest you take your hobby knife and dig out a section. Be careful, you don't wanna to cut too many of those wires. And now you're going to solder this onto there. With a little flux, it will stick on there, no problem. And then wrap that with your electrical tape. So three ways to do it, either poke a hole through it, attach it with the connector when you solder, or that method right there, solder it onto that lead, wrap it with electrical tape, and you're good to go. Hope you learned something. Have a great day.